machine guns, assault rifles, um, light machine guns, stuff like that. And I kind of find it stupid. And that is my opinion on it. I know the press, like uh, the news, um, TV, like stuff like that, tries to make it out like the gun is the bad guy and that it's because of the gun that the people get killed. And I really disagree with that and I think they're really wrong as far as that goes. And my opinions on how this whole entire gun situation is, I think it needs to be um, dying and zombies. But no, I think that it needs to be as... There needs, as far as gun laws go, uh, I think that they probably could do a better job on securely checking who they sell the gun to. But as far as it goes of banning a weapon, I don't think that banning an a, a assault rifle or something like that is really going to make that much of a difference. Because, if you ask me, in order to cut down on gun violence at all, you're going to have to pretty much... Uh, Pretty much get rid of every gun that there is. And pistols, rifles, all of them. Because, to think about it, if you really wanted to kill someone and have a massacre or like go on a killing spree, you don't need a gun. Alright? Yeah, you could do it with anything. You could do it with a knife. You could run 20 people over if you freaking really wanted to. Just go in Times Square and freaking plow down the sidewalk. My point is, guns are not the problem. People are the problem. Like, the gun did not walk into, like, uh, schools and say, Hey, um, I'm a gun. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot you real quick. I'm pretty sure that's not how it went down. I kind of think that the person, uh, somebody picked up the gun, walked into the building and pulled the trigger and caused it to shoot, loaded the clip, put it in and everything. I kind of think it's the person's fault, not the gun's. And, like I said, anything can be de as deadly as a gun. I could go get a nail gun at freaking Lowe's or a hardware department or something and freaking do the same damage as an M16 assault rifle, like, type of thing. I mean, it's not like the thing's full auto anyway. It's semi-automatic. Hell, I could uh, a pistol semi-automatic. I mean, are you going to stop banning them too? My, my kind of point is, is that the gun should not be banned. And uh, guns, or certain guns should not be banned. And to think about it, I actually uh, um, looked it up. And as a matter of fact, only a, like, uh, I think it was like five or six states reported as them properly giving the proper background checks and things that they're supposed to whenever people bought a gun. So that really, that technically means that but practically somebody who freaking robbed a bank uh, and killed someone something like that uh, would have been able to get a gun uh, because of the um, place the states not uh, giving the background checks or the places that they went to not giving the background checks that they were supposed to so if you ask me getting an assault uh, banning an assault rifle is not going to do anything anyway because really, the job, the laws are not getting enforced in the first place. Like, what's the point of having laws if they're not getting enforced? That just means that someone's gonna walk up there instead of buying an M16, they gotta freaking buy, uh, buy a shotgun and freaking do it. And my point is, is if the laws are getting enforced, you should not make new laws and be and blame the guns because of like. People getting killed because I mean because well it's technically the place's fault or uh, the security and uh, the uh, law enforcement's fault for not enforcing the law like it's supposed to be done. Um, so if you ask me, assault rifles, submachine guns should not be banned in America. Uh, I think it's a major mistake and. Really, I don't think that they will see very much of a difference in the first place for the fact that, um, like, I, like I just said, if someone really wants to kill someone, they could without uh, freaking using an assault rifle or a gun. Like, it doesn't take a gun to kill somebody. So, that's just my thoughts on this whole entire situation. So, and I really find it sad on their part. We're trying to say, oh, the little 
children would like the guns to be banned because, well, they know that it was the gun's fault. Not the person who was a sociopath who freaking killed a bunch of people for no reason out of his enjoyment. It, it was the gun's fault. Yeah. So, you saying that you like guns and that guns should not be banned means that you're just stepping on the graves of children. That's... no, 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 no. And that's where everybody's wrong. Again, not wanting certain guns to be banned has, uh, is not the same as freaking stepping on the graves of people that got killed. It's not. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on that. Another thing I kind of want to talk about is the term money whores. Now, this is something that goes around the YouTube gaming community that people call gamers for because, well, they're kind of jealous because they make money from playing video games. So they use the term money whore. And pretty much what it means is all they care about is money. They don't care about anything else. They don't care about their subscribers or anything whatsoever. And I just went down again. All they care about is money. And let me describe what I think about that. First off, who doesn't care about money? Because, I mean, after all, money is the re uh, thing that buys your food. Buy, er, yeah, buys your food, puts a roof on your head, gives you transportation. You can, you know, money to send your children to school, buy clothes, uh, everything like that. So, who doesn't like money? Um, it's 6, 17 a.m., so that means my grandpa's probably up right now making coffee, because that's what he does at this time and hour, and, yeah, I know, that's kind of early to get up in the morning, but, um, so, well, uh, back to the money whore thingy, it, people go, oh, whoa, freaking, you don't care about us, you put a freaking ad on your video, and uh, they're calling them money whores, all they care about is money. Well, think about it. First thing, uh, thing, you commented on their video, which means that you just gave them money practically, right? Second thing is, it's not like that. You, they're sitting there and be like, Are you, uh, in order to view this video, please deposit $5 with your credit card. It's not like it's saying that at all. This is pretty much having a little ad there that you skip after five seconds, and no one cares afterwards. They're like, you don't pay nothing doesn't harm you in any way and it helps them be able to make videos for you uh, for like the subscribers by giving them money to pay for new stuff to, like better laptops better recording devices better things to play with to improve the video quality and you guys just pretty much apparently judge them and call them money whores because they want to live <laughs> um, that is how I put it and that's my thoughts on that as well. Um, round 28, we're close to getting around 30, um, was there. Um, once we get to round 30, I'm calling it quits because I am very, very extremely tired. And I don't know how much I can handle voice-wise of this. So, sorry guys. But... Yeah. Ow, that zombie took a lot of freaking bullets. Dun 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 Who's who? So, I'm kind of regretting my statement about this M14 because it's kind of stopped working now I mean but it is around 28 after all but it doesn't seem to work very well it kind of doesn't really kill zombies it kind of just like teabags them and yeah
All right, round 29. One more round and it will be over. And I appreciate for all of you guys who watched the video and hung in here for um, the rest of the series. I'll probably split it up into 10 minutes each. So that way it's kind of a weekly series or a daily series. So that way you guys can um, watch it and have something to look forward to. And I never really technically run out of videos. I always have one video posted a week and so on. I don't know how often they want me to do this as a weekly or as a daily. I should probably ask them that because... Yeah. My luck, I'm going to end up dying in round 29. I almost died right there, guys. That's one thing grenades are useful. Let's see what is like. I think there's like five hordes and I'm thirty and twenty nine or something like that. Thirties. I hear my dog barking. Probably once outside to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I have two dogs. I have a boy dog and a girl dog. They're brother and sister. They're those little white fluffy Maltese doggy thingies. They're nice and cuddly. Sorry guys for that old moment of silence, but I'm kind of exhausted. Now I'm trying to rest my voice as much as possible. My throat's really hurting. My dog's continuously barking right now. I'm trying to freaking do this video and it won't ever leave me alone. I'm actually surprised I got one hour of freaking peace. Because generally I get bugged all hours of the night and day from people. Um, so. Hey. Right. Last zombie. Hey guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please check out my channel. Please subscribe to me and subscribe to ZKA and like get, uh, like this video because I appreciate all the support and so does ZKA. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Um, thank you for sticking in if you stayed with the rest of the series. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. I'll let you guys see my stats real quick before I end the video real quick. So. Alright. Alright, see you later. Bye.